Hello, this is UpTrail71, and a few weeks ago, Amir sent me this solar power bank to test. It's 10,000 milliamps, and it worked very good when we went on our trip to the Porcupine Mountains. And let's take a closer look at it. For about $25 at Amazon, you'll get the solar power bank, a USB charging cord, and your user manual. And now let's take a look at some of the features on this solar power bank. It has two USB ports, and you have your one charging port. You have two LED flashlights that are built right into it, and they work very good. I tested it last night, and here you can see the test I did last night with the high beam. It shined very good, and then it has a SOS. And then it also has a strobe. And you can see the little blue lights here. The three little blue lights is how much charge I have right now. So it's right around 75%. You can see the other one that's flashing. Showing that it's charging. And the green light is actually for the solar panel. And the solar panel is more of an emergency type power source. So you'll charge this at home. In your wall outlet that's what's recommended and a solar is more of an emergency backup and I did test it I left it out in the Sun for three hours and it did give about a 25% extra charge so it does work in direct sunlight and you'll even get some charge just being in a regular daylight so that's a very good feature and this is waterproof dust proof and it's supposed to be shock proof I never tried dropping it and a solar power bank also has a small carabiner attached to it. So you can attach it to your backpack and it can be charging as you're hiking out to your campsite. Now, I usually just keep this in my pack and then I'll attach it to the pack when I'm at the campsite. Because I don't want to take a chance of having it fall off. It could hit a limb, catch on to when you're hiking out and you lose it. So I'd rather be safe and then just use the solar charging when I'm at the site. And finally, it has this small compass that's built into it. I did test it and it seems to work okay. So it's another small feature that's on the power bank. Now let's compare the sizes to my RAV Power 10,400 milliamp and this new solar power bank 10,000 milliamp. You can see the sizes are close. The solar one's a little larger, but of course the additional feature you get is to have the extra solar power which is very nice if you're running low on power which I've had that happen already in the past with the RAV power so this one at least you know you can get another extra charge on your phone or maybe camera and now let's check the weight and I'll be using my little digital scale that Amir sent me it weighs 8.61 ounces and let's check the RAV power and the RAV power weighs 8.25 ounces so there's very little difference in weight between the two and if a person is interested in checking out this digital scale from here I'll also leave a link for their Amazon page and so far in my three weeks of testing this solar power bank has worked very good. Worked very good in our trip a couple of weeks ago and we'll be taking it on our trip this weekend. And if this solar power bank is something that you'd like to look more into, I'll leave a link below for the Amazon page. And for only $25 or around $25, I think it's a good deal. And once again, thanks for watching. Up Trail 71.